I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Geneva. I'm Seth Kisner. Today we have some club announcements and we sit down with Chicago, Chicago's news anchor, Val Warner. All that and so much more because GCV News starts right now. Here are your morning announcements for Tuesday, February 27th. There are a lot of clubs meeting after school, and remember, it's not too late to join, so get involved. The GTV club will be in the studio right after 10th hour. The school is, the school is literary magazine, The Skaldic, meets tomorrow in room B126. Saga meets, tomorrow, Saga meets today after school in room B124. Key club will meet tomorrow after school in room H219. They will be cleaning the tennis courts and whiteboards for teachers. Val Warner is a very well-known local celebrity, but her road to success hasn't been easy. In honor of Black History Month, GTV's Leah Plummer had a one-on-one -on -one conversation with the news anchor to get her perspective on some of the challenges she has faced and the milestones she has reached. The number one TV station in Chicago, ABC7, is built on the backs of their on-air talent, one of them being Val Warner. And I, Val Warner, good to be with you. This Emmy-winning news anchor has spent years honing her craft in small markets. In her hometown of South Central California, Val took things into her own hands. I went home and told my mother, I'm going to be a news person, a news anchor, reporter, I'll do whatever it takes. And that year, my senior year, I went out and pretended to be a reporter and shot stories. That all took place during a pivotal news event, the Los Angeles riots after Rodney King, a black motorist, was beaten close to death by police in front of cameras. Sure. I think we just decided that we were not going to sit at home and just, and, and like couch potatoes, and just watch. We have to, so we have to be, we have to be heard. Miss Warner says that started her career, which then led to her first job in Roswell, New Mexico, and another in Flint, Michigan, where she says her look was sometimes challenged. And I had a boss, and he was a male boss, and I wanted to cut my hair. And I asked him, can I cut my hair? And the answer was no. In her 20 plus year career, she's covered everything from dogs to dancing, but she says meeting Michelle Obama was a highlight. I mean, I've got to interview Michelle Obama twice, and the first time I was incredibly nervous, and I'll never forget, she came in there, and she sat across just like you and I, and I, I just told her, I was like, I'm so nervous. And she was like, wow, I'm just like you. As for what she says was the best advice she's ever gotten. Someone said, just be you. Don't try to be anything. Don't try to be Oprah, who, were re who we were replacing. Don't try to be anybody who you're not. Thanks, Lila. Looking, looking beautiful outside again today. There's a high of 68 degrees and a low of 46. And tomorrow, cooling down. There's a high of 46 degrees and a low of 20. Here's three to know before we go. If you're interested in changing your course selection for next school year, the deadline is March 1st. Viking Coffee will be open tomorrow during all lunch periods. The cookie of the week is brown butter salted caramel cookie. They accept push coin and or cash. And you can still write a letter of recommendation for the Educator of the Year Award by Thursday. They would love your support. That's all the news I have for you today, Geneva. Have a terrific Tuesday.